So as we heard, there are more problems for the UKIP leader this evening with allegations about some of his candidates. Robert Nisbet has the latest from Margate in Kent. This is certainly a problem that uh, UKIP and Nigel Farage could have done without. Uh, for the last few months, even years, they have been battling uh, problems with various members of UKIP saying things that they shouldn't on television programmes and to newspapers. Uh, but this was uh, apparently an undercover investigation by the Mirror newspaper that caught on tape remarks made by Robert Blay, uh, the 55-year-old former accountant who was standing for UKIP in the North East Hampshire constituency, uh, which is a solid Conservative seat with an 18,500 majority at the last election. But he was asked various questions about the new Conservative candidate, Ranald Jail Wardener, uh, who is considered by some to be uh, possibly the most successful British Asian politician in the Conservative Party, certainly, and has been talked about as a future leader, even a future Prime Minister. And this is what the undercover reporter uh, captured from Mr. Blay. He said, I will Will personally put a bullet between his eyes. If this lad turns out to be our Prime Minister, I will personally put a bullet in him. That's how strongly I feel about it. His family have only been here since the 70s. You are not British enough to be in our Parliament. But I've always said in my constituency, you could put a monkey out there with a blue rosette on and it would win. There were various other racial slurs and Mr. Jaya Wardena is of Sri Lankan descent. That forced uh, a statement from UKIP uh, this evening saying the views expressed by Mr. Blay are abhorrent. As soon as they were brought to our attention, he was suspended from the party. Any comments of this sort have absolutely no place in British politics or public life. And the party would like to take this opportunity to apologise to Mr. Jaya Wardena for any distress cause. But this is the kind of headache that Mr Farage and UKIP could do without with just a few hours to the polls opening. Robert Nisbet there in Margate. Well, on Thursday night, Sky News will be live across.